Young Jeezy has just filed for divorce from TV show host Jeannie Mai after just two years of marriage. Now, this is going viral on the internet right now. Although this is very celeb gossipy news, why are we talking about it? Yeah, I mean, I think that we have to cover anything that's culturally significant. This did end up on TMZ. How many Asian Americans get posted on TMZ realistically, although it was under the hip hop tab. And uh, I have not seen a lot of Asian publications even digitally post about this. To be honest, it's been mostly on uh, black or hip hop celeb news websites as well as TMZ. So we got to talk about it. We're talking about spiritual word, academics, hood ratchet TV, baller alert. Yeah. And uh, we know Jeannie Mai, so let's break it down. All right, everybody, please hit that like button right now. Check out other episodes of the Hot Pop Boys. Um, Yeah, I would say that we've known Jeannie Mai for like 12 years, Andrew. Definitely not even close to like a, a 5 out of 10 friend, 3 out of 10 friend, no, 2 she, out of 10. Every, I would say we're, we're very friendly when we see her. Every time we've seen her and she remembers us, she's been very, very cool, very helpful in her own way. And we actually filmed a couple things with her on like an epic mealtime thing a long time ago. And then you did an interview with her years ago. Yeah. So she's been cool. Um, so that's why I have nothing bad to say about Jeannie Mai. And obviously she is part of the Asian American community. Although I would put her more on like the ambassador role where she more kind of operates in the non-Asian world representing Asians. Yeah, and specifically, I think it's unique because Jeannie Mai is almost more in African-American or urban spaces more so than like being an Asian in the white world. Right, exactly, yeah. Which is, which is we gotta acknowledge, that's rare. Yeah, and I do wanna acknowledge, she is from San Jose, California, guys. She is, she's really Asian. She's yeah. Asian. <laughs> so I thought it was interesting because like different websites are posting this at different levels. Like we said, white websites that are primarily focused on blonde celebrity news they're not posting it oh. tmz which is very generalized and really more based off seo and just like hits in general but a lot of black sites are posting it that's where i got uh, most of the comments from like i said you know if we covered this at a later date there may be new developments um i would say that you know I, i'm really wishing the best for Jeannie and her daughter mm. monaco jeezy you know i wouldn't say he's on my favorite rappers list but i'm a big fan of his more like chilled chilled out songs you know mm -hmm. mjgz 17.5 i love it more of the smoother tracks right right, right more of the inspirational soul samples like that um do i think that genie and let, let's be honest because i i'm not trying to like protect it just because we know her do i think that genie Mai has ever dated an asian dude no probably not Probably not since she was like maybe in high school. Right. But I do know that she is outwardly supportive of the Asian community yes. against, uh, you know, supported stop Asian hate mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So I guess how does the Asian community perceive her? Yeah. I mean, I don't, to be honest, I, I don't see that many Asian people concerned with this celebrity gossip news. I think even if we're talking, I mean, maybe if we're talking more like, I guess, Southeast Asians or even specifically Vietnamese women who really are familiar with Jeannie Mai and identify with Jeannie Mai because she is Vietnamese, um, then I think they're more talking about it. But if I had to say Asian America as a group in general, no, this and is not I the I don't think news. they're going to end up discussing it, No, right? I don't think they're going to discuss it at length. I mean, obviously, there's sites that really love to go into celebrity gossip and why people are getting divorced. We don't know why people are getting divorced. It, it is said that Young Jeezy did file for a divorce and 66% of divorces in America are usually filed by the wife. So whatever, I mean, people can speculate, but overall what I'm saying is that I think Asians, we are somewhat proud of Jeannie, but we don't, I, I don't think they're thinking about it that much. Is the last celebrity news that we covered similar to this was when uh, Dana Tran got, uh, had a child with Diddy. Yeah, Dana Tran from the 626, um, who is also a very nice girl. <laughs> she has a D Diddy's baby, yeah, living in LA. So I guess like, is it a similar story to that? I don't know. Where it's kind of like an Asian, and it happens to be Southeast Asian, crossing over into the hip-hop, like, urban black world, essentially, and then now it becomes, like, it's, it's news for everybody. Yeah, make sure you like, subscribe, turn on your notifications, and or you know what else is some hot news, or it's just hot in general, is Smala. Oh. SmalaSauce.com, guys. This is a brand new chili oil that we're coming out with from Sichuan to Sicily. I'm telling you, there's nothing available like this on the market right now. Uh, it's a finishing Baby, oil. Give it a shake. Give it a shake. Woo! Yeah, Man, this we, bottle's running out because yeah, we've been using so that a lot. It's really delicious, made with real truffle, very tingly mala flavor in the back. So, Check it out. Get into the comments section. Somebody said, man, it just seems like nowadays everybody breaking up. This was a Big Sean quote. Of course, Big Sean himself. Andrew, if you guys follow Hip Hop News, famous for breaking up and remaking yes. up with Janae Aiko almost continuously, infinitely. David, let's be honest. Famous people divorcing, not uncommon at all. However, 
well, divorce in general is not uncommon. But I will say this. There was kind of this expectation that since Jeannie Mai and Young Jeezy are both in their 40s when they got married, it's almost like you thought that they would last longer. Statistically, people who wait to get married a long mm -hmm. time or are on their second marriage, yeah. typically that is the one yeah. that works. And, statistically, just and based they had, And they had stats. a beautiful child together. Unfortunately, yeah. they're getting divorced right after the child pretty much is born and like, what is it, like a year and a half old? Right. Like, beautiful baby. But I guess... It's kind of sad because you're like, I thought Young Jeezy was on top of his thing. I thought Jeannie was on top of her thing. It seemed like when they got married, they were so happy. Yeah. And then it only lasts two years. And then if they divorce after two years, that means maybe a year in, they're already thinking right. of divorce. Statistically, statistically speaking, seven years is the average uh, length of a marriage. Yeah, there's a seven-year itch rule. Somebody said, uh, damn, I thought he was going to be with her full life. And That's spelled funny. fuh, fuh, you know, spelled fuh, 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 life. Somebody said this ish better not be because of Mario Lopez. Ooh, <laughs> because there was like a clip that came out with like Mario Lopez, like grabbing on Jeannie Mai, a little too touchy on TV, doing a promo or whatever. I don't know, guys. Um, somebody said, man, this is why you shouldn't believe in social media, love. I, you never know what's going on in people's life. Pictures and videos do not mean perfection. I never look at these celebrities as relationship goals because they're always pretending their relationships are great. They just look at it as like a PR campaign. Mm. Um, how much of this is true? I do think that there's some pressure on celebrities to do this for a lot of reasons. I, first of all, Anybody who's just been to a church or anything like that knows that people hide things, right? They try to make things look... They, they, not everybody's like, um, oh my gosh, Krishan and Blueface, where oh. they want the drama, right? right like right. some people want to clean it up for yes. the society. Yes. Yeah. Um, this is saying that, uh, hello, goodbye fried rice, hello fried chicken. Obviously, this Classic is a Dave joke Chappelle from uh, the, the uh, Dave Chappelle show. Yeah, I, I mean, David, do you think that celebrities do it sometimes to like give their career a boost? Maybe not solely for that. Maybe... I'm sure Jeannie and Young Jeezy did like each other, maybe did love each other at a moment, and they thought, well, if we get married, Jeannie, you know, it'll be a cool thing. And Come even, on. And even if we don't stay together forever, it'll make the news and still uh, boost both of our brands. I would say this. By the way, guys, absolutely, I have zero insight into this whatsoever. If you are two people planning on having a child, why not get married with a really strong prenup to make it a thing in the media? Because you're going to guarantee that it feels more valid. It, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's almost like with an ironclad prenup, it's not really going to matter. Yeah, may maybe they knew that she was going to have a baby, so they kind of rushed the marriage and then realized, yeah, maybe we don't want to be together forever. Yeah, I just think nowadays, especially if you have a lot of resources, a lot of people want to co-parent and, and, and do a lot of things. It well, really I'm depends not, I'm not on lie. how much listen, money you have. And listen, I don't know who has more to gain out of this. I mean, I guess, I suppose for the drama aspect, Jeannie Mai would have more to gain, but it seems like after being married for two and a half years and then getting divorced, then people are talking about everybody again. Is Jung Jeezy dropping an album soon? I need to know, Snowman. Somebody said he got tired of sushi. He wants soul food again. These are crazy comments, by the way, guys. Not my words. Somebody said... Uh, yeah, we can finally get the real Jeezy back. Man, we about to get the snowman back. He finally saw the light. Welcome back, Bay. Let's be honest, Andrew. There's some comments saying that, like, Jeezy was getting, like, real, like, trying to be real proper and, like, a gentleman when he was with Jeannie, but now he's going to make the street music that uh, allowed him to rise the ladder. Guys, I'm but not... But other people were like, what, you want him to go back to the streets? He's, like, 42. He's not 24 years old anymore. People are so ignorant. Uh, yeah, I think it's stupid because, first of all, Young Jeezy hasn't really, to be honest, put out any amazing music in, like, seven years. So I'm saying... It wasn't Genie that was holding him back. Right. I seen it all was good, though. Yeah, I, th I think he's uh, I think he's just out of music anyway. Somebody really. said, long as the baby is good. Yeah. Yeah, I mean... I mean, I, listen, the baby's going to be fine as far as, like, having all the things that that baby needs in life. But, yeah, I mean, you know, it is it is unfortunate that all these celebrity kids have to grow up in these households. But, you know, maybe the money makes up for it. Somebody was saying, you know, I don't like how these celebrities normalize it for regular people when, let's be honest, in the background, the celebrities have a lot more help, a lot more money, and a lot more systems than a regular person has access to. But regular people, they don't really understand that when they're being influenced by it. Exactly. I think, like... You know, I don't want to just put it on men, but men and women probably both look at how celebrities live their life and want to live their version of that. But let me tell you this, without the money and the systems, eh, your life ain't the same. It's not the same, guys. Yeah. You Michael cannot Blackson, afford the Michael same Blackson thing. recently said that he goes, hey, man, I'm telling you, poor dudes, they cannot do what I do. Guys, they I'm cannot do it. Nick Cannon, you can't be a broke dude doing that. 
Diddy, whatever, how many ever kids Diddy got, you can't be a broke dude doing that. Um, let's get to the interracial angle. Somebody said those cultural differences, whether it's cultural differences because Jeannie Mai wasn't gangster enough or it's because her Asian culture, he didn't want to take off his Tims when he walked in the house. She couldn't trap or die. She didn't put on for her city. Oh, she got man. He got tired of the young Jeezy memes. Um, how much of this was like... How much does the interracial element play into it? Because I noticed that some people really care about it and other people in the comments of these more, I guess, hip hop pages were like, come on, don't bring race into it, guys. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I think that different people feel differently. I mean, obviously there's some comments being like, oh, you know, is Jeezy going to get with a black woman next? He's going to finally get with a black Or Jeannie's going to finally get with an Asian dude. I know like some of our Asian guy friends were, were joking like, yo, is she going to get with a Viet dude finally? I, I don't know. I mean... Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe not. It doesn't matter. I don't, I don't care at this Somebody's point. Somebody's saying we were all rooting for you guys. And a lot of people were posting that Tyra Banks meme from her uh, next yeah. top model show. No, like, again, I'll say this. It looked like, in a way, it caught you off guard, the couple. But it also, you thought it made sense. Because both business-minded people build the empire together. A J and Beyonce type deal, you know. Where J and Beyonce are still together, at least uh, on paper. And, uh, yeah, I mean, that's what you would expect, so. Right, the power couple. The yeah. long-lasting power couple. Yeah. People like to see that. Yeah, it wasn't like, it wasn't like a young, dumb couple. That's why you had hope. A lot of people, uh, and these were, I guess, mostly uh, black women, were roasting Jeannie Mai for a quote that she had a long time ago saying, black men on the side, white men as the main dish. She did, she, say she that did say this on years ago. She was saying it kind of jokingly, but she did say it. And that's not a, that didn't age well. Yeah. But honestly, I think she was expressing a sentiment that I wouldn't be surprised if like a, a not a, like a decent amount of women think that in their brain. If you made me guess, I don't know, guys. Like, I'm completely on the outside analyzing this, right? Um, somebody said, uh, it fills my heart with no joy that I have no idea either one of who either one of these people are. And this was from a white guy posting this on Hood Ratchet TV. Mm. And then other people came in and said, you are uncultured AF. Oh, you a mayonnaise colored person. Of course, you don't know about either of these people, Jeannie Mai or Jeezy. Mm. So this... Andrew, let's talk about this. This is the cultural fragmentation of Instagram. Yeah. So this is going viral on Hood Ratchet TV. This is more urban news. It's under the hip hop tab on TMZ. A white guy comes in and says, I don't give a F about either of these people. I don't even know they exist. Does this speak to the fractured nature of the media market in 2023? Where it's like some people know 10 out of 10 about their relationship. Other people know zero out of 10 about who they even are. I mean, I even know some... Uh... Some Asian people don't really know who Jeannie Mai is. No, some Asians I know know who Young Jeezy is for his music more than they know who Jeannie Mai is. Exactly. Because they don't exactly. keep up with, like, TV hosts. Exactly. Um, somebody says, I don't care what nobody says. Can nobody love a black man like a black woman? And this, of course, like we guys said, you know, the, the, the Instagram race wars of America, Andrew, this devolved into, a, not devolved, but I guess it turned into a lot of... Um, you know, Latina women coming in that were married to black mm -hmm. men saying, how can you say that's true? And it's back and forth, back and forth. And the last comment I'll end on is somebody saying, on me, man, why would you marry an Asian? Black getting with Mexican, I can kind of understand because we've been neighbors for forever now, but other cultures are just so alien to me. So, um, <laughs> yeah. I, I think it depends, man. To me, Jeannie, like, was always, like, pretty down and, like, pretty urban. But, yeah, Jeezy, we're talking about, like, the snowman 3000. Yeah. No, that's true. Those snowman tees that everybody was wearing back in like 2004, that was because of him. Yeah, he wasn't talking about the snow on the beignets. No, he wasn't <laughs> talking about the snow out in Aspen. No, not the snowman <laughs> and out in Nebraska. Uh, I guess, David, overall, I mean, this is celebrity gossip. Obviously, like, you know, you don't want to invest too much into celebrity relationships because you never ho know how long they're going to last. But a lot of people do. Let's be honest. In 2023, there's a lot of people on the internet. I'm probably assuming they, their jobs is maybe not the most high-powered jobs do you on think earth. They put a decent right. pie slice of their 24-hour ratio paying attention to celebrity uh, news. All right, let's just play this out, man, because we don't know why they got divorced. But let's play uh, this game that if... What's the reaction of people if Jeezy... If it found out that Jeezy cheated... Or what's the reaction if it found if everybody found out that Jeannie cheated? Yeah, I do think it's gonna be different. It's gonna be kind of racial, unfortunately. Yeah, right. It's gonna be like, oh, black men doing this, and then Jeannie cheats, and it's like, oh, see, Jeannie said that thing back in the day about black men, blah, and then it's like. I don't know. To be honest, it's interesting because everybody's going to read into it, but nobody has any more information than like the next man. So everybody's going to speculate and you could be on the dot. You could be partially right. You could be partially wrong. 
Or you could be completely, utterly wrong, just speculating about something that you have no idea about. But to be honest, Andrew, you're talking about it. It's top of your mind, which ultimately, when you're in celebrity, Andrew, that's one of the most important things mm. that you, whether it's upside things that happen to you, downside things that you are in people's mind. And uh, that leads to the branding and everything. I think, like we said, you know, the truth is, Andrew, like we said, rich people, they're going to have the money, the networks, the resources, the systems, and the infrastructure to make sure that their daughter's life is amazing, right? And that's very different from a regular person. I don't think that regular people fully understand, Andrew. You can get a $150 massage gun on Amazon. You can get the $600 massage gun, which is like the Theragun Pro, which is the top prosumer, right? But there are $3,000 and $4,000 massage guns that professional massage people use that you can't even get through traditional consumer channels like mm. Amazon or Best wow, Buy. Wow, wow, wow. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, there's levels of things and access that people are not even aware of. So like people with a lot of money, they, they can like stabilize their life. Right, right, right. But I'm saying that the average person, I don't even know if they're aware of that. Maybe some are, some aren't. Yeah, and I think that just like people following celebrities, whether that's Elon Musk running around doing this, acting crazy, acting mm -hmm. like he wants to repopulate the earth. Nick Cannon said it, but he was motivated more by like history. Elon said it because he was more motivated by like saving human mankind. But your average person, should not try to emulate this. No, no, it's not going to work. So anyway, guys, let us know what you think of this whole situation in the comment section below. Is it worth talking about? Is it something that you and your Asian friends are discussing? Or do you see this as being more discussed in non-Asian circles? Of course, I wish the best to Jeannie Mai, her daughter Monaco, Jeezy as well. Until next time with the Hot Pop Boys, keep it civil. We out. Peace. Peace.